you got this 10 millimeter socket here not the one with six sided the one help a little more this way you can put the socket over the seal allow you to push it down and these are the new seals I got right here and I'm gonna do is uh, one at a time and just maybe just oil the bottom a little bit carefully install it And there it's all lined up with the bottom and use your 10 millimeter socket and gently push it down be careful there's a spring right there don't lose the spring and you can run the little pick to underneath there and see if it's all the way down you can tell it's not all the way down yet, so I'm gonna keep working on it until it's a nice, until it's all the way down. Take the time. It's almost down. Now it's all the way down already. There's no more lip on the bottom. That was all in. Work on the next one. Put a motor oil on the bottom, make it slightly easier. It'd be nice if we have a little uh, tweezer to line everything up. I'm just using my little pick tool. easy when we're in there let me try one without the motor oil Quite easy to install. Let me go ahead and put them all in. And go and check every one of them. Make sure they're all the way to the bottom. That's good. Yep. All right, all set. So they all see it in there, and the springs right there. You can see the spring still on there. And uh, they all in. Next thing I'm gonna put the uh, the valves in there. 
Just need to uh, oil them up. Everything nice and clean. And let me go ahead and flip it around and put everything back together on the other side. Got the washer in there and all lined up. And I got the spring. Got a little two piece of keeper inside right here to lock onto once I press it down. I'm just soaking I'm just soaking these springs here. See in gasoline or you can use uh, diesel fuel. Just try to get all the uh, the dirt and everything off the uh, spring.
going to line up the, uh, the two keepers in there. Let's put it on top. So I did purchase a tool that clamped this thing down so I can lock it in. But I'm going to try to attempt it without the tool and see what happens. So I do have a tool that in here that I purchased, uh, have, it's not open yet, to clamp down the, uh, the spring. So these keeper will line up and lock in place. I'm going to attempt to use a pair of gloves in the socket and push it down and see if I can lock it in. I got a towel underneath there already. Let's give it a shot. Look at that. Lock right in. Try the other side. Just uh, I'm using one of these uh, spark plug socket. Um, smaller one not the big one here's the oversized one here this is a 1316 I'm not sure what this size is right here whatever the next side down so you take a pair of plastic glove go around the, uh, the tip of it like this right here and line it up let it push and lock right in That's pretty easy. Guess um, I didn't really have to spend money on buying that too. Oh, it's only 20 bucks. Look at that. Easy peasy. a lot faster than using that tool because the tool I gotta flip it over and clamp it down and loosen it up and tighten it and tighten and loosen it. Here I just put a, a towel on the bottom and keep it from going down and I was able to take care of this thing very quickly without moving anything and just double check make sure everything's locked in place. Looks pretty good. And I got a few more sets to go and that should be it.